This here is a chayote squash, which is returning from the ground after the freezes. This is its second year. The chayote squash is a perennial squash, which is really cool, meaning it comes back again year after year. And if we look down here, you can see this big knotted gnarly base. Isn't that awesome? That is a heck of a, that's a heck of a stem there. Uh, so this is what it does. It comes back and it will make hundreds of chayote squash over the course of a season. And I've taken some of those and I've planted them around the food forest. So let's go take a look at some of the ones I put out already. Right here is a great big mass of Mexican sunflowers and some sumac and some oaks and scrub and stuff that I kind of left for the birds. There's also a clothes hanger back here for some reason. I have no idea why. But down here, at the base of all of this, I have planted the vine that will soon conquer. There's a chayote vine, and it's already looking like it's gonna start grabbing. Look at these awesome tendrils. These are fantastic. So this, this chayote grew on that chayote I just showed you out back and I kept it in my office for a while till most of the freezers were gone and then I stuck it out here halfway in the ground and let it grow. The chayote is very interesting because the, the squash doesn't actually have seeds in it. The entire thing has an embryo right in the middle of it and so the entire fruit is basically a big soft seed and so when you put it in there and let it go it will send all of its energy up into the vines and that entire fruit will just kind of rot away and then it'll get that big thick stem and it'll come back year after year. But that little vine down there will completely be just covering these uh, scrubby trees here by the end of the season and then uh, it'll come back year after year. And I kind of put it down there on the edge mostly because right now it may freeze again and that little bit of cover will keep it from getting destroyed most likely unless we get a really cold night. But this here is uh, destined to be chayote trellis. Very easy plant to grow and very uh, delicious too. It's kind of like a cross between a cucumber and a pear. Uh, not at all like a squash like you would expect. That's it. The chayote squash.